organizing and elections, since this is a green party oriented, you know, workshop, uh, the balance between movement and organizing or movement, organizing and electoral work has always been a tactical struggle within the left for the, in the U S uh, I mentioned earlier, the green party even split over this. Um, we've had the, the GP USA, which was more of a movement oriented, um, kind of party while it also ended up running more candidates than the SGP did though. Um, so they did their end better too. Um, but then, and then the association of state green parties, which wanted to be kind of strictly an electoral uh, party. Um, we can't see it as an either or debate, but two parts of a or larger organizing strategy. Um, one of the main reasons we have to do this is electoral campaigns have a finite lifespan, right? They have a beginning and they have an ending. And it's essential that we're able to train and greens have been historically very bad at this but it's essential that we can transition supporters of campaigns and volunteers from the campaigns to the party and act into an active movement that can sustain over time um it can so a key you know in my opinion a key element of a successful campaign um is having those the trust and relationships that you build through the movement right um, it's it's the movement work that does the you know that does deep canvassing between elections. Um, so, yeah, Allison just mentioned uh, she she cut it down to five, but I challenge every green, <laughs> I challenge every green to knock ten doors for every tweet that they put out, and I bet our growth will be exponential if we would do just that one simple thing, and it might keep us from tweeting as much. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you know, when it comes to organizing in elections, we need movements to be able to exercise electoral power, right? Otherwise we're just the not-for-profit industrial complex and funneling movements back in to political power that opposes what they want. Mm -hmm. Um, right. You know, how many, Demo how many Democrats voted for things in Joe Biden's you know, in Joe Biden, that they absolutely oppose. But they, uh, you know, they were scared of Trump. There were many reasons that they voted against their interest, right? The, the Green New Deal has got like 62% support publicly. But the overwhelming majority of voters voted against the Green New Deal. Um, Medicare for all, because not, not neither Trump nor Biden supported it, right? Um, same with Medicare for all. Same with, you know, people who don't want wars, which is a large, you know, which is despite the propaganda of whipping people up into a fury right now is historically most people don't want us to be at war, but we consistently vote for hawks, right? Um, so this is why it's important that we develop not only, you know, quality campaigns or quality parties, but that we develop both alongside of each other. Um, because we need the movement to build up the foundation upon which a winning campaign can be built. And we need the campaign to provide a, a you know, political voice for that movement um, that we hopefully can get elected and, and more like it um, and you know, bring about substantive change. And I, I think this also is a good reason why uh, it's so important that we have to have our own independent organizing methods um, through the Green Party, because we've we've gone over some examples that we can learn from through this slideshow. But uh, one of the biggest criticisms of those various methods, um, you know, the Alinsky method and um, uh, what uh, Lee Lee Roots to Power. I, I forget the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the biggest criticism of those type of methods is that. Um, they tend to be very short-lived organizations and short-lived um, movements that are that are tied to some particular issue or particular moment in time, and then they kind of disperse after that. Um, and you know, we've seen the effects of that of, uh, after decades. Um, that we don't really have a sustained leftist movement in the U.S. anymore. Um, you know, politics has largely been captured by uh, the the two-party duopoly. So um, to get beyond that, we have to build organizations that not only are stuck on just one issue or whatever, but see how all these things are related to each other, as well as becomes a, a movement that lasts through time, you know, until until we win, right? Until victory. And it doesn't just disperse in a, a year or two or whatever. It gets some small con concessions from the state and then dis disperses, right? 
um, it's got to be a sustained movement. And um, um, so that's why we need this organization and, and uh, our own plans for independent organizing um, that take that into account. How do we build long lasting organizations that can do elections, but also survive beyond elections to, to build power in between elections and to win future elections and all that.